Welcome to TechLogix. In this tutorial, we'll guide you on how to access your Hikvision DVR using PC software, enabling live viewing, playback, and other features. Even if the internet connection fails, you'll still have access to live streams via a LAN network. We'll walk you through the installation and configuration of the latest IVMS 4200 PC client software from Hikvision, which allows you to fully utilize all DVR features on your PC or laptop. Let's start with downloading the IVMS 4200 software. You can visit the Hikvision official website or use the link provided in the video description below. On the Hikvision website, go to the support page, then navigate to the download section and select software. Under the IVMS 4200 tab, choose the first file listed for Windows. Next, review and accept the materials license agreement to initiate the download of the setup file. Once you click the download button, your browser will start downloading the file. This process may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed and the size of the file. Note, this video will guide you on how to use the IVMS 4200 PC software to access features such as local LAN live view and playback. For remote access from anywhere, please refer to another video in our series. Be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss any updates or new tutorials on maximizing your Hikvision system's capabilities. Locate the downloaded IVMS 4200 setup file, usually in your downloads folder. Right-click the file and select Run as Administrator to grant the necessary permissions for installation. This helps minimize permission-related issues and ensures a smoother setup. Next, accept the license agreement and choose your installation location. You can use the default folder or specify a different one. If prompted, deselect any additional features you don't need at this stage, it's recommended to enable only the basic configuration and video features for initial setup. Finally, click Install to begin the installation process. Once the installation is complete, you'll have the option to launch the IVMS 4200 software immediately. To do this, check the Launch Client box before clicking Finish. You can also select Create a Desktop icon for easier access in the future. These options make it convenient to start using the software right away and locate it quickly on your desktop. When launching IVMS 4200 for the first time, a small pop-up labeled Upgrade Detection may appear. You can choose to enable or disable this feature based on your preference. Enabling it allows the software to automatically check for updates, while disabling it keeps updates manual. The first time you run IVMS 4200, you'll be prompted to create a super user account. This is an important security step, choose a strong username and password. After setting it up, you'll need to log in with your super user credentials each time you open the software. If you'd like to avoid entering your details every time, you can check the auto login option. Make sure to answer the security questions provided, which will help recover your account if you forget your password. Now that you've completed the installation and initial setup, it's time to configure your IVMS 4200 software to add your Hikvision DVR. The first step is to connect your DVR directly to your router or modem using a LAN cable. Make sure that the PC or laptop where you installed the IVMS 4200 software is on the same network as the DVR. For this setup, you don't need an internet connection. Simply plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the DVR and the other end into your router or modem's LAN port, as shown in the diagram. Once connected, open the IVMS 4200 software on your computer. Navigate to the menu by going to Maintenance and Management, then to Device Management, and finally to Online Device. If everything is set up correctly, your Hikvision DVR should appear in the device list. This indicates that the LAN connection was successful and the software has detected the device. Next, select your DVR from the list and click on Add to Client. A pop-up window will appear, asking you to enter some details. Assign a recognizable nickname to help you identify the device easily later on. Input the default username, which is usually admin, and then enter the DVR password. These details are necessary for the software to connect and access your DVR. Finally, click Add to complete the process. If the connection is successful, 
the device will be marked with a green online status in the device management table. This confirms that your DVR is now connected to the IVMS 4200 software and ready for local viewing, playback, and other associated features. Accessing live view and playback features in IVMS 4200 is straightforward once your DVR is added. To view live feeds, head to the main view panel, find the folder with your DVR's nickname, and double-click it or drag the camera icon into the right window. This will display the live video feed from the selected camera. When you try to view a camera stream, you might be prompted to enter the device verification code. To find this code, you need to access your Hikvision device's settings using a connected monitor or TV. Navigate to the Configuration menu, then under the Network tab, select Platform Access. There, you will see the device verification code. Enter this code into IVMS 4200 to authorize access and unlock live streaming and other features. You can choose to view individual camera feeds or multiple cameras at once. To view a specific camera, simply click on its window or select it to see the live stream. If you want to monitor all cameras simultaneously, click on the group name that includes all cameras, which will display live feeds from all cameras on the screen. This feature is excellent for monitoring multiple areas efficiently from a single interface. To access recorded footage of a camera in IVMS 4200, go to the Remote Playback menu. From the list of cameras, select the one you want to review. A timeline bar will appear at the bottom of the camera window, allowing you to drag it left or right to adjust the playback time. For more precise searches, click on the calendar icon and select a specific date to view footage from that day. This makes it easy to navigate through recorded videos by both time and date, helping you find what you're looking for efficiently. When you're ready to close the software and later reopen it, just click the desktop shortcut. Before doing so, ensure that your PC and the DVR are connected to the same router or modem and that the DVR is marked as online in the device management section. This step helps guarantee smooth access to live feeds and recorded footage without any connection issues. Once everything is set, you can start monitoring your live view and access recorded videos as usual. If you need further clarification or additional tips, feel free to explore other segments of this video series. We hope this tutorial has been helpful. If so, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support allows us to create more educational content and continue providing valuable resources. Thank you for watching.